Scots have been bombarded with hundreds of thousands of junk mail Indie Ref 2 leaflets on the anniversary day they voted to remain in the UK. September 18, 2014, was meant to be the landmark moment for nationalist Scottish ministers as the long planned referendum vote arrived. But it is instead remembered as their date of disappointment after 55.3% of voters said no to separation. In a bid to drum up support for a second vote, Group Believe in Scotland started the grassroots campaign for Scottish independence leading up to INDIF 2 with a National Day of Action for Independence yesterday. Throughout the day activists distributed up to 500,000 leaflets as well as 50,000 Open Minds newspapers. Activists were also supplied with more than 100,000 badges, car stickers, mugs, postcards and copies of Scotland The Brief. The day also saw a large range of events held by 110 Yes groups all over the country to signal the start of the organization's Autumn for Indie Action. It comes just weeks after Michael Russell, director of the SNP's Independence Unit said their eight-page booklet to promote an independent Scotland had been delivered to letterboxes in several constituencies across the country. But opposition parties last night urged the SNP and pro-independence organisations to stop bombarding Scots with divisive spin on promoting separation. Donald Cameron MSP, Scottish Conservative Constitution spokesperson, said, the SNP and its supportive organisations are continuing to sideline Scotland's sky-high Covid rates in favour of their obsession with independence. Focus should be on accelerating our economic recovery, remobilising our NHS and tackling the record number of drug deaths in Scotland. Queen Margrethe II to bring Karen Blixen's image creating worlds to life in Netflix film.